guys. Let's have a look at what we're going to do today. I've got my back plate here. It basically adapts it from the original spindle uh, mount that I have on the mill at the moment to this unit that will be going on. So I'm pretty excited because it's uh, close to one of the last pieces. It's just a simple plate, bunch of holes. I'll have to do some adaptive cuts and everything. Sorry about the uh, image quality. I need to get some screen capture to make it all a bit better, but I'll wait see how I get on with uh, all the other bits on uh, editing um, but as you can see I've got some small holes some larger holes some slots and nice shape so I'm going to make this from a um, 10 mil section of aluminium and that will uh, um, be pretty easy to machine I've added uh, six more holes here I did this on fusion I realized I needed a bit of relief to allow for some screws coming from the motor mounts so again I'm spinning around let me give you a little look um, it's not that interesting it's just looks like someone's been firing loads of bullets at it but I'm going to have an adaptive, 2D adaptive, work its way around do a load of cuts to recess this back I could do a contour but I think adaptive's more fun takes a bit longer but hey, it's fun um, then I'm going to adaptive out these quickly just because I can um, and then I'll do a contour to clean everything up and take it to size um, and then my last one is contour with a countersink um, tip um, or a 90 degree cutter. I've got a slightly blunt one I'll be using for this video and I'll be running that round. The tool I'll be using to do all the work is a uh, 4mm carbide uh, tool from a Rennie tool. Um, so two flutes um, and it will be just going full depth when it's doing the cuts. If we do a simulation now, I'll flick on nicely through it, nice and quick. you see it come down. I'll just change material to material and it will run down and see the flute working its way around having lots of fun time to speed up a bit make it quicker and as it's adapting that out making lots and lots of chips which will be lots to clean up afterwards but it's all fun we'll take out all these holes um, I'll speed this right up the graphics card can't quite keep up with it but yeah so we make our holes or bores them all out and then we can do a clean up afterwards um, there we go, you can see the edges and it's even done its countersinking. We're zooming just to check, but yeah, you can see it's done the job. We'd be pretty happy with that if it looks like that once we're finished. Right, I'm going to run my super glue on. Do it nice and quickly, drop the metal on, and I even activate it. It's about when you're not looking in the camera. Pull my pins out, which we use to square it all up. Then I've got to find my edges. Um, so that's my X and then my Y. I would have touched on with my tool, already done the work for that. That's going to work its way around, and I'll fast forward this because it takes a bit of time and it uh, gets a bit boring for some of you. I think on some of my smaller projects I'll have um, a bit more fun and show you all of the machining in real time, but they just need to be a bit smaller when we do it. But I'll leave it with you and you can enjoy the music.
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Cutwell uh, single flute that did the hogging out and then I used the Rennie tool 4mm to take off the last uh, um, 0.5 of a mil and uh, that turned out pretty nice I'm pretty happy with that the shine is looking good you can see the reflection uh, like the pinhole there that's looking great so uh, I'm impressed with that uh, I think those cutters cost about what, four pounds so pound fifty around that mark and uh, for beginners like pretty much like what I'm doing it's absolutely perfect to, uh, to be using. You don't need to spend 30 quid on a tool to get a job done. So it's great. So we get this off. Just need to peel it off the. Uh... Oh, I've got my flip knife. Okay, take a corner. Pretty good. It comes off there. So if we take a look at the edge. Not bad at all. I could probably go and do a spring pass just to get it all nice. But my little grooves here, they came out really good. It's a lot of shine. <laughs> this part's going to be hidden by the other plate, so we don't need to worry too much about how great it looks, but I'm really pleased with how it's gone. Nice big piece. Took about an hour and 40 minutes to do. Um, could have gone faster on things, but I didn't need to rush it. Don't want to ruin the piece of metal that I got. So I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. The edges came out really nicely. Um, again, I would have probably taken it down to like a 0.1 pass just to clean it up or maybe that's a mistake doing that, but the edges came out really well. We um, did a deeper chamfer on it. For some reason, I've gone a bit deep on these uh, reliefs that I have for these six screws because I know that when I put the right length screws in, it'll be poking through a little bit. So I want to have some relief for that. And my screws are my cap heads. I should have given more uh, room for them to squeeze over for when I slide this on. This is basically the adapter plate that goes between the um, the trucks um, that are on the rails um, and this. So currently I've been using the high speed spindle. Um, that will be coming off but I'm going to use the same back plate. Um, and so this will, it won't slot over. I'm going to open up some holes. Um, basically these ones here, um, they're the offending items, um, so I'll be getting on the lathe and just take down the diameter of these cap heads and it should drop on really nicely. And then I've got to put some, I think some M8 threads in these places just here. And I think that's about it for it. The rest of them are going to have clearances, um, so really pleased. So yeah, we'll get on to the next part and I'll hopefully do a video for that for you as well. But I'm very pleased.